Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on your time frame and where you're watching from, I believe you're all doing good. Today I bring you another exciting news about Oscar Brown, or should I say to keep you all updated, because what I'm about to tell you is the real truth of Oscar Brown. I know there are so many stories regarding Oscar Brown's death, and there are many news as to which war killed him. But guys, this is the real story. This is nothing but the truth. Because this information is gotten from the right source. This information is gotten from Oscar Brown's relatives. First thing to note is that Oscar Brown is wealthy. And of course, his source of income was not really known. But one thing is for sure. Oscar Brown has a car, and of course, he has land. He plans to build a house for his mom before his passing. And of course, he also has plots of land around. But guys, before I continue with this, if you're new to this channel, I'm highly happy to have you. And I want you to subscribe if you've not. And of course, turn on post notification as we bring you amazing gist and shows here on Gist Centra. I'm back on Oscar Brown's real death story. You see, it's believed that Oscar Brown is poisoned and that is truth. That's for a fact that he was actually poisoned. But guys, let me get onto the real story of Oscar Brown. You see, Oscar Brown, just like I said, is wealthy and his source of income was not disclosed and how and this is his death story around december last year oscar brown was um at asaba because that's originally where he's from and then every night and he's always invited by his friends mind you that this set of people this set of friends he hang out with almost every night isn't very close to him because most of them are just TikTok fans who just want to spend time with him because they feel he's a celebrity and then maybe want to make videos and, and take pictures with him. So almost every night, it seems um, Oscar Brown's phone is always bugging for hangouts and chills. And then he doesn't decline any of them because he's a guy, hello. And of course, he doesn't want to hurt them or try to give them impression that he's way bigger than them or he's really a celebrity that doesn't have time to hang out anymore so around december that was december 17th or 15th oscar brown's phone was ringing non-stop and then even when he picked he he was called out for drinks and of course to party which he did not decline he went out to meet his friends not very close pals but actually his friends and then on the process he was served drinks and, and of course other refreshments after the party was over on getting home he started throwing up he was uneasy he was feeling so restless and then he he um, called for his mom and of course his siblings that night, they don't know what to do as it was already very late in the night when he got home. So they just um, looked for a way to sustain him till morning. And then in the morning, they rushed him to the hospital because he was still throwing up. And then when they did, the doctor confirmed that he, Oscar Brown, was actually poisoned. It was food poisoning as a re result of what he ate in the party. So... After that, the doctor obviously treated him and then assured him he would be fine on taking the rest of his medications. After that, Oscar Brown was discharged and of course he had no clue who poisoned him. But one thing was certain, he was actually suspecting the girl that invited him to the party, but yet did not confront her for any reason. So, after, after a week, after a week... Oscar Brown started noticing weird things happening to him. Every night, every midnight, he's always having um, a running stomach as he screams. He doesn't sleep at all because his stomach was really, 
disturbing him. So this has lasted for over three days. And then he, I was, he was thinking that maybe it's another thing altogether until it became very severe. During the day, Oscar Brown is perfectly okay. But every night, I mean 12 midnight, he's always restless as he's always tooling and complaining of his stomach. And then they decided to visit the doctor and then complain to him that something else is wrong and that Oscar Brown should be diagnosed. The doctor ran some tests on Oscar Brown and then he confirmed that he is perfectly okay as he could not place his hand as to what is wrong with Oscar Brown. Amidst all this, the doctor still gave Oscar Brown some medicine just in case it persisted, which they left. But that same night, Oscar Brown was still distressed and what happened to him every night repeated itself. They, and then they visited the doctor for the second time. And after complaining to the doctor one more time, the doctor ran more tests and told him that he is perfectly okay and that the poison is no longer in his body, that he could not really describe or tell him what is actually wrong with him and that he is okay. This left Oscar Brown and his mother very confused because what Oscar Brown faces every midnight is different from what the doctor is seeing. So they decided to take another route to find out what really is wrong with Oscar Brown. And then when they did, they met a, for, a foreteller or a seer, something like that. And then after reading Oscar Brown's palm and all, the person disclosed, the seer disclosed to Oscar Brown and his mom that what he's actually facing is as a result of food poisoning, but it's not just a physical kind of poisoning. It is spiritual poisoning. And then Oscar Brown was stunned as to which of his friends would want to poison him. The seer said that on the night he left for a party and the drink he was served was poisoned, but not a physical kind of poison as this attack was supposed to occur every 12 midnight. Of course, a curious Oscar Brown and his mom will want to find out the people that are behind all this. The seer made descriptions of those that are actually behind the ordeal, yet did not call anybody's name. Of course, Oscar Brown would identify them just with the description the, the seer gave. Yet again, he did not confront any of those his friend, and then he decided to focus on getting better first before trying to confront any of them, which his mother supported, and then... He was being treated, I mean, happily in a spiritual kind of way because it's obviously a spiritual poison. So you cannot use something physical to, to, sorry, to cure something spiritual. And of course, on the process, he was always tormented in the night and he was being treated. He was still getting the torment and of course was still treated, taking his medication, spiritual medication rather. And then during that December, he was perfectly okay till the following year, which is this year, 2022. And on the month of May, being this year, he actually started having another symptom. Same symptoms he had as of December when the spiritual poison persisted. Mind you that Oscar Brown was a fighter as he had so many things to gain, to achieve rather. He had so many things to fulfill. He's yet to complete his mother's building and he has more business ideas to establish aside being an influencer and a media personality. On a fateful Monday, Oscar Brown was actually having a stomach pain and as well he was tormented so greatly that he was shouting and shouting and shouting he was saying words like they are here they, they are here they are trying to kill me they are trying to kill me that was the words oscar brown was authoring that they want to kill me they, i mean they want to kill him they want to kill him you know so at that point his mother doesn't know what to do his siblings doesn't know what who would know what to do at that very point they don't they were just so helpless and before they could run around and then call a pastor or someone who say a prayer or something that would just keep him calm and then make him 
feel better, at least for the meantime. Before they could do all of that, Oscar Brown was still trying to strangle himself and then shouting that they are here to kill him, they are here to kill him, that they are his friends. Although, on shouting all those things, he did not mention anybody's name, but he was just saying that they are his friends, that why do, why do they want to end his life, that they are here to kill him and all of that. Before any help could be rendered, Oscar Brown slept and never woke up till this very day. And after he passed on, his friends did not visit, did not visit him, did not check on um, his mother as obviously they were really in to kill him. And before Oscar Brown passed on, he said there were about five of them. People are really wicked. I don't know what they will gain by killing him because... Oscar Brown has a family and of course if actually they killed him just to get his properties it won't work because his mom and his siblings are there to take over and yes he's not married or and doesn't have a child before his death it was heard that he had um, a business idea with a friend this is a lady they plan to build a house and they bought the they bought a land together. They combined money to get a land. And after that, um, problems sprout out and Oscar Brown had to pay the girl off. But before Oscar Brown could pay the girl off, she actually threatened Oscar Brown that if he doesn't refund her money, she's going to do something very nasty to him. And Oscar Brown really refund her money and then she went her way. I don't think she has a hand in this because she was not the girl that actually invited Oscar Brown to that party. And of course, she wasn't included when the seer saw people that actually wanted Oscar Brown death. So like I always say, this heart is very wicked. You all should know who you trust. Not everybody that is inviting you or want to hang out with you actually have good thoughts for you. Some just want to end you by serving you just food. Some have other ways of killing people. I mean, poisoning Oscar Brown physically was not even enough for his friends. They also had to go through the corners. They had to go through other means, which is very bad because for them to go through this means, it only means that they are desperate to end his life. But that's still on them. And I hope that Oscar Brown's mother will really be strong as she's very devastated. And yes, Oscar Brown's uh, funeral has been fixed. And I pray God consoles his mother. And yes, Oscar Brown's siblings said they will not let the matter slide. They will not let their brother die just like that. While his mother decides to leave everything in the hands of God as she doesn't know any other means to fight back. But still praying that God will intervene for her. Justice will be served in one way or the other. Guys, please choose your friends. And not everybody is actually your friend. Not everybody that is... Uh, not even everyone that is close to you mean well for you. And I don't know what they've gained in ending this young man's life. But God knows best. And I pray that Oscar Brown's mother will really take heart. So guys, this is the real story of Oscar Brown. This is the real truth of, of Oscar Brown. Because it was gotten from a right source. From a real relatives and yes yeah, so guys i'm really glad you stay tuned I'm, I'm really glad you watched till the end please do well to give this video a thumbs up a share and of course i believe you subscribe but if you've not please do to get updated on our next video i'm really glad to have you here once more i remain your favorite girl ella okc thank you and god bless you